This is brought to you by the Alumni Association of PISJES. Hey guys, so we'll be doing uh, one more example that we left in the, the video earlier that I told you was a little complicated and I would show you in the next video. And it's about the same topic, acceleration. So this one is an interesting one. Let's see. Question. So let's see the question here. Uh, this is the question. Okay. A rat and a cat is 35 milli uh, meters apart. So let's draw it here. This is the cat and this is our rat. Now, this distance here is simply 35 meters. When the rat started to run at 2 kilometers per hour, the cat started to chase him at 1 meters per second square. Okay, when the rat started to run at 2 kilometers per hour, the cat started to chase him at 1 meters per second square. Now, the rat, we, have, we, are, we are given with the, the speed, the average speed of the rat because it's moving at a constant speed throughout the 10 seconds and the acceleration of the cat so the, the question says can the cat can the cat sorry catch the rat in 10 seconds it's like a tongue twister so can the cat catch the rat in 10 seconds okay now let's see it move the rat moves at a, at an average velocity of 0 0.556 meters per second so we can say first let's find out about the rat let me just change the color here let's just find out the distance moved by the rat in 10 seconds let's see if what distance it has moved so the velocity of the rat is 0 0.556 meters per second okay and the time is 10 seconds it ha it runs with the same velocity for 10 seconds. Let's see the distance it has moved. So the formula for distance is the velocity average and since in this case the velocity is average because it's running at a constant velocity. So velocity average times time. So this would be 0 0.556 meters per second times 10 seconds. This would give me 5.56 meters. So we know that the rat ran a distance of 5.56 meters. So now the rat is right here. Okay. 5.56 meters ahead of this position where it was originally. Now let's see where the cat reached. So for the cat, we have been given the acceleration, which, which if I'm right, it's one meters per second square. The acceleration is one meters per second square. We can assume that it's moving at an acceleration with one meters per second square. So it has a velocity of one meters per second every second okay so let's see our formula here this is let's see the final velocity of the cat so we do not know the final we know the initial velocity of the cat is zero because it was at rest the final velocity we have to find out the time is 10 seconds so we know a simple formula here v final minus v initial divided by time which is equals to since this is 0 it simply becomes vf over 10 is equals to 1 the acceleration so vf becomes 1 times 10 meters 
per second square. 1 times 10 seconds, sorry. This becomes this becomes Vf becomes 10 meters per second. Fire velocity is 10 meters per second. Now the initial velocity was 0, the fire velocity is 10 meters per second. For the distance, we know meters. Now let's see the situation here. This is the original position of the cat. This is the original position of the rat. And this is the final position of the rat, which was they have a distance of 35 meters between them and an additional distance that the rat ran in that the rat covered in 10 in the 10 seconds was 5.56 meters so if the cat catches the rat it should have covered a distance of 35 plus 5.56 meters in those 10 seconds which gives us 40.06 okay so this is 40 uh, or no what am i doing this is 40.56 sorry i am just just use your calculator here and you will get so the cat should have covered a distance of 40.56 meters however we just saw that the final speed of the cat was 10 meters per second and the initial speed of the cat is 0 meters per second. The time is 10 seconds. Can we find the distance? Yes, we can. We have the formula. D is equals to V average times time. So the, let's find out the average velocity. 10 plus 0 divided by 2. Final V1 plus V2 divided by 2. This gives us 5. Now the average velocity is 5 and the time is 10 seconds. The distance moved by the cat is 50 meters. However, yes, the, we just saw that the, if the, the cat had to catch the rat, it should move from its original position a distance of 40.56 meters because the rat was already 35 meters apart and it moved uh, at an additional 5.56 meters so it should have moved 40.56 but and with the calculation we can see that it moved a distance of 50 meters you can see two of the formulas were interlinked together and we found the distance moved by the cat and this 50 meters since the cat covered 50 meters this means the cat catched the rat so the answer this question is yes and if we just check the answer yes we are right the answer is yes it has catched the rat so congratulations guys and let's all celebrate for the cat and uh, I hope you understood the chapter and these examples because that is the more important part here so if you have any queries just comment on the video and I'll be looking at them and replying to them so thanks for watching guys